Images released by Washington which purport to show how Russia attacked eastern Ukraine has led to much more speculation in the media. The images were posted on Twitter by a Washington official. RT's Gane Chichikan cuts through the spin. Some journalists received the satellite pictures which the U.S. presents as evidence of Russian shelling into Ukraine via email. But much of the world found out about it from the Twitter account of the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. One of the images, according to U.S. officials, shows Russian self-propelled artillery in Russia. And the other part of that same image, U.S. intelligence determined, shows craters inside Ukraine indicating strikes from artillery. The date on the picture is July 23rd. These images have changed quite a few hands before they made their way into the ambassador's tweets. On all of these pictures, you see the name of the company, Digital Globe, which is a commercial provider of satellite imagery and aerial photos. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence is said to have analyzed the pictures and written all these captions with their analysis. Then they handed it to the State Department to be released via Twitter. The spokesperson of the Russian Defense Ministry had this to say. Such materials weren't posted on Twitter coincidentally, since it's impossible to establish their authenticity due to lack of exact reference to the location and the extremely low resolution. Journalists now operate in an environment where both sides, that is the U.S. and Russia, brush off evidence put forward by the other. U.S. officials attack media that dare to even question the information that they put forward. So. RT came under yet another attack, this time on Twitter. Here's the U.S. Embassy in Russia responding to our news tweets about the satellite images. It says, considering who pays RT's bills, it's not surprising that RT questions validity of U.S. satellite evidence. And then there is another tweet saying, given some of the experts shown on RT, it's very hard to believe anything they say. One has to wonder if the underlying implication is that everybody absolutely must believe everything the U.S. government says and presents as evidence. Well, there is not much questioning in the U.S. mainstream media. CNN has learned U.S. intelligence satellites and radars have monitored repeated artillery fire from the Russian side of the border for the last several days. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chagyan, RT.